Greetings Minecrafters and welcome to another Minecraft discussion. Yay! My name is Kimberly Quinn and I'm in the deep woods up here. We're kind of renamed the Notch Giovanni's Notch. There's a little G right there. On Inspiration Bridge meaning in spirit, right? In spirit, inspired. So yeah, so today what I'd like to talk about which came to me this morning. Also th just thinking about some kind of experiences and, and things but to, really there's a huge difference between React, oh, changed by the sun, the sun's over there. Okay, sorry. Um, there's a huge difference between react and respond, reacting and responding, right? Reacting is, is that knee-jerk reaction that we, are, that we are so tempted to do, myself included. It's hard to catch, especially with my fast mind wiring, because impulsivity is something I still work on every single day, to not be impulsive and react. And of course, impulsivity is acting without thinking. Reacting is just an expression of impulsivity, so it's acting without thinking, and it's fast, it's knee-jerk, right? And so responding, on the other hand, is much slower. It's, it, it can be minutes later, it can be an hour later, the longer the better, it's, the response is usually in most situations, responding is better. It's a slow down process where we involve system two thinking, right? There are two systems. System one is automatic, which is the you know, like how we, it's impulsive, it's how we make assumptions and judgments and prejudice and all that is like right there in system one, primarily unconscious. And then system two is that slow down, like Sherlock Holmes type thinking where we gather the facts first before making decisions and just, you know, just deciding what to do and, and whatever like that. And so it's very important to, to get that the responding or system two thinking is, uh, oh, I should probably give a shout out. I didn't even plan that part today, but uh, Daniel Kahneman is where that comes from. Thinking Fast and Slow, great book. I use it for one of my classes, Cognitive Psych. Anyway, so it's very important to get the, the differences between these two. And of course, System 1, which would be more Watson thinking, and that's Maria Konnikova. She wrote uh, Mastermind. System 1 thinking is, is has its place, for sure, but it's not very often. It's kind of like if you see a toddler about to stroll out into the street with cars coming. That's, that's an example of grab the kid, and that's System 1. It's just like a knee-jerk grab the kid. The rest of the time, reacting does not usually do well for us. It's responding that is much, much better. And so in order to do that, we've got to be mindful. we got to be mindful when we feel that urge, and there's a word for it. Shenpa, I believe, is Sanskrit. So it's, and we've all felt it. It, it. It's that, like, when somebody says something snarky to us or does something that's ill-intentioned or whatever, we just get that surge of, and we just want to give it right back to them, even if it's not verbal, if we just want to, you know, do some kind of mannerism, like, you know, you know whatever, and just let them know passive-aggressively, we're pissed, it's not okay. And when we, it's really much best to resist that Shempa urge, even if whatever, whoever said was snarky and ill-intentioned and whatever, it still is better to take a step back, even if it's something huge, you know, the high majority of the time, even one minute up to five minutes or 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you can duck into a bathroom, your response, response is gonna be much more effective than a knee-jerk reaction, it's just true. The other thing, in addition to that, is to realize that when anybody hurts us, they're hurt. That's how it works. And their hurt is being expressed and spilling over onto us. That's just how it works. So it doesn't make it easier to take because it can be totally wrong on their end and you know, and whatever their intentions are. And still, even then, it's best to step back, to really step back and be try to be that observer. Again, even if it to to what they did is totally not okay and you're legitimately you know, angry or hurt or whatever it is, but to at least get that because it doesn't mean to get a pass. It's just that understanding, well, if we can understand that when people hurt us, they're hurting, step back. It's so much easier to let a lot of the petty stuff go. You know, not the bigger, bigger, bigger stuff needs probably a bigger conversation. The high majority of the time though, that's not the case. The high majority of the time, it's smaller stuff to, you know, life's a spectrum, right? Middle stuff. And we can take it a step back, be an observer, Realize that people, when they hurt us, are hurting themselves. And also, this, here's another thing, is that their behavior is their behavior. Even if it's not okay behavior, that behavior is owned by them. Like if it had, I'm um, thinking like when you go someplace with a suitcase, you have your name and address on the tag. Okay, well that tag has all their info on it. 
even even as the ones doing the hurting it does and the other little last thing i'll say about this reacting versus responding it helps tons and tons and tons and tons to not take things personally and that can be very difficult it, it's a actually something one of the one of the many practices i have in my you know happiness live your best life lifestyle is practicing not taking things personally and, and that i can give a shout out to even though i didn't plan this either uh, don miguel ruiz who wrote the four agreements that's one of the four agreements and when we don't take things personally realizing that like 98 plus percent of what anybody is saying to us is about them and not us also means that their behavior is about them and not us it makes it way easier to resist that shit that surge of shenpa which wants us to react and and assume and judge and you know and i love how Brene brown talks about that the judging thing is just can feel so good in the moment you know but it has a, it has a half-life a shelf life and then we don't feel so good we just because it takes a piece out of us right whatever we do to other people we do to ourselves so um so that's my sort of chat for today short and sweet and like anything else we've talked about we don't want to have the bar at perfect not going to happen right we want the bar at do your best something we can always reach because we can you know, move it to how we're feeling that day, if we're overtired, if, you know, whatever, you know, um, didn't eat for a long time, move the bar to where you are and do your best because we can always do our best. And remember that reacting versus responding, very big difference. Reacting is system one, automatic, mostly unconscious. System two, where we respond, slow down, Sherlock Holmes thinking, you have a much, much better chance at being effective effective than we are when we do the knee-jerk thing and get into a battle of the egos because that's really what we're talking about versus a more authentic slow down response after stepping back and and sort of taking on the role of observer this way we can we can get into that you know stay in our frame realize it's not a good idea to take things personally realize that that person's behavior is their own not ours and realize that they're hurting if they're trying to hurt us. Not saying it's okay, but we're, in the, we're within the frame. We are. It's just going to come out so much better. All right, so respond versus react. This is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful deep woods of northern Vermont. Have a mindful, less reactive, more responsive day.